Today I'm going to show you how easy it is to install Ubuntu on your own machine. Let's dive in. First, of course, we need to go on Google and go straight to the official website, Ubuntu website, and download the image. And let's go there. Okay. While we are waiting, we're going to download Rufus. It's uh, the program that will going to allow us to mount the image on a USB stick and, of course, make it bootable. Here we just select the version that we need and download. Okay. Let's open Rufus. Yes, I agree. Norton, not interested. No. At the device, we're just going to choose our USB stick. And of course, we're going to need to choose the image that we downloaded. Everything else looks all right. Uh, BIOS or UEFI, yeah. And let's press start. And here it will gonna give us all types of warnings because it will gonna format the stick and we're gonna lose all the information. Plus it already detected that we have a OS on the USB stick. We don't care, we're gonna start everything from zero. So we're just gonna go forward. And now that everything is done, we just plug the USB in the laptop and power it on. We're gonna go in the boot screen and of course we're gonna select try or install Ubuntu. If it takes a bit, don't panic. Uh, as you can see, the light on the USB is flickering. So that's loading, but again, it's running from a USB, it's taking a bit of time. And now preparing Ubuntu. Let's see. Choose your language. Of course, I'm gonna go with English. You can go with whatever language suits you better. Accessibility Ubuntu, leave it how it is, English, US, and connect to the internet. Me personally, I never select connect to the internet while I'm in the process of installation. I prefer to do it after, but here you can choose which is better for you. And here we're going to choose install Ubuntu. If you want to choose try Ubuntu, I've already done a video. I'm going to put a, a link somewhere here. You can boot the windows and you can use it from the stick. So let's go with install Ubuntu. And here we have interactive installation. Yes, we go with this one. Default selection. Yes. Install for part. Yeah, why not? I don't have a dedicated GPU, but I'm just going to select it. You never know. Oh, I'm boiling. And here, what else we have? Let's see. Erase and install Ubuntu, of course. And here you're gonna need just to put all your details. We're gonna select the time zone. I'm based in UK, so of course I'm gonna choose this one. And here it will gonna provide you a bit of information about your drive. This will gonna take a while. Probably you're looking at around 20 minutes, but of course I've just fast forwarded and I've done it very short. Uh, it's a small presentation, the benefits of using Ubuntu and everything else. And let's restart now the PC. Once we restart the laptop, you're gonna see on the screen, it's please remove the installation uh, medium. So the USB stick. And here we just need to plug out the stick and press enter. Again, don't panic. It takes a bit until we're gonna reboot but it will gonna get there again i use the magic of editing and i just made it very short but to be frank it took like two three minutes it was the first boot top is not the fastest one it's good enough for linux for ubuntu but it's not well we have the user the password that we entered earlier and that's the first boot for ubuntu we have the welcome pack next next uh help improve ubuntu i'm just gonna select no you can select yes, just read it through. Now we're just gonna connect the wireless. We go on the icon with the sound, and here we're gonna have like all the sub menus like Wi Fi, uh, Bluetooth, we'll shut down or restart the computer, and everything else. Let's connect to the Wi Fi. Of course, we're gonna ask us the password. One thing that I'm always doing, as this laptop is quite old, I'm gonna select all the time the performance plan. So let's go power mode and here we're gonna go performance. It's a i3, I'm not even sure, like fourth generation, not older. And here let's just update it. Let's go in terminal. So that's control alt T. Sorry, my camera is not the best one. And let's just type sudo apt get update password. And now we just need to wait. So this command is to update all the packages for the Windows. That way we are sure everything is uh, up and running 100% approximately. 
and that's it now I'm just gonna reboot the system so sudo reboot of course you can go on the icon and reboot it well it's easier sudo reboot and I'm just gonna enter in BIOS just to be sure when I install uh, Ubuntu that uh, the bootable devices in BIOS went like first the SSD and after the USB sticks and we are speaking about the processor yeah so we have a i3 fourth generation 1.9 and as you saw the boot sequence it's okay so we have first the SSD and after the stick the USB stick let's power it on again and that's it, that's our Ubuntu. Now, some of the questions that I received, what I should install first on Ubuntu or what I need to learn first about Ubuntu. And I can't give you a real answer, I'm gonna be honest, as I don't know what you want to do on it. If you want to install OBS or Steam or games, uh, I'm gonna post uh, like a, a link to one of my older videos, the one that uh, I was running Ubuntu straight from the USB stick with the commands they are the same commands so it doesn't matter if you run from the usb stick or straight from the computer you have the same command so i'm gonna link the video there now if you want a bit more information or you can't find something just drop them in the comment and if i know i'm more than happy to answer it again i'm not a ubuntu power user but i've enjoyed uh, using it for probably one two years and uh, it was quite fun with all this said let's finish the video here I'm bloody boiling, as you can see, they are 27 degrees. Have a nice one. See you in the next video.